in the interim, I think one of the, the questions is, so NIST and these 110 controls, which kind of map to a level three, but I'm, I'm one of the 60, 70, 80% of the DIB that only needs to be at a level one. This is a contractual obligation that I'm gonna get certified on and, and audited independently, but I'm self attesting to this over here. Uh, how should companies be reconciling the uh, 110 controls that they're self attesting to versus I only need to be a CMMC level one? So if you are not dealing with any data that would be considered controlled unclassified. If you're pre presenting or providing a product or um, simple services to the, to the government, then you would probably only need to be a level one. Now, if you look at that 7012 clause that requires you to have a system security plan and a POAM to get there, it, all, it perturbates on the fact that you have to, if you are handling controlled unclassified information. And you have to have that in your contract, right? It has to be identified that I've given you controlled unclassified information. In fact, that's one of the complaints that we've heard resoundingly from contractors is like, nobody's ever told me that I've got controlled unclassified information. So I haven't bothered to do anything with regard to the um, self-assessment and what have you, because I've never felt like I've had to. And that's why we've got a whole, um, training program on our side going on with DAU and whatnot to make sure that we train our workforce on controlled unclassified information. And um, one of the ladies in r &E that we've spoken to, you know, we have these, these uh, conversations about controlled unclassified information and, and that people say they don't understand it. And she's like, well, yes, they do because they know what distribution statements to put in their contract. And so I have to go back and, and, and look, right? I should have looked this up before I got on here. I think if you have a distribution statement B in your contract, then you can anticipate that you have controlled unclassified information. But there are, and don't quote me on B because I, have, I don't have that at the top of my memory, but if you look at your distribution statements and, and the, the way that it's characterized in there, you can tell if you have controlled unclassified information. 